An historic military aircraft with ties to the world is currently being restored here in Connecticut. In fact, the plane was built in Stratford decades ago. News 8's Brian Spiros explains why it's being done and who's behind it all. A piece of aviation history is coming back to life. Once you get involved in it, it's hard to get away from it. You're looking at an aircraft known as a Corsair, designed and developed here in Stratford by former aircraft manufacturer Vought Sikorsky. It took to the skies during World War II. This plane was just, it's the first aircraft, propeller driven military aircraft to go over 400 miles per hour level flight. It won the Pacific War. During World War II, these aircraft were in such high demand that one would be coming off the assembly line every 86 minutes here in Stratford. Nearly 13,000 Corsairs were produced up until the 1950s. Fast forward to today, there aren't too many left in the world. Probably around 100, but maybe 22, 25 are flying. This aircraft is now in that elite class. In the early 70s, this one was put atop a pedestal at the entrance of Sikorsky Airport. Six years ago, it was taken down due to corrosion and disrepair. Now the folks with the Connecticut Air and Space Center are helping to restore her, and they're dedicating a great deal of time. A lot of us supply our own stuff. Again, we're all volunteers. We took our, take our own time to do this. We bring our own tools. A lot of us buy our own parts. We have a lot of friends that are making parts for us as we need them. Sue French is part of that same group and has a personal connection to this aircraft her late father. He would uh, train Army, Navy cadets to fly on a special type of plane. And once they learned how to fly that, then they all were checked out and ready to go into the Corsair for the Second World War. The funding is key for this project. Aside from private donations, events like this car show held today helps raise money. Aside from the plane, restoration will also start on a nearby hangar, turning it into a museum for the Corsair and historic planes just like it, keeping the history of flight alive. Reporting from Stratford, Brian Spiros, News 8.